selected around here. So now I try to click on it again, and now I have my shoe selected. So if I do Shift Tab again, it's gone, and now I can click on just that little piece, and I want to delete it, so I hit the Delete button on the keyboard, and it's gone. Another way to do this, you can do that individually for every piece. Another way is to, oh, not that, is to come outside these boxes here, outside the dotted lines, and select an area that includes everything you want to get rid of, but does not include a full section of anything you do not want to get rid of. So I see now that that has everything else in this area I want to get rid of selected, and I can hit the delete button. That's all gone. Now I'm going to take a quick look at what this what happened with this image. And what I'm looking for is sometimes there will be a few little extra things you don't need. And there's a couple ways to see it. The first is a piece like this. Not that. Not the bear's head. I want that, so I'm going to do shift tab. And it's this piece right here. This piece is actually a piece between the bear and the baby. And I don't want that. There's no color I'm going to cut that in that's going to mean anything. So I'm going to select it, and I'm going to delete it. The same with this piece. Oop, I got the head, so I have to shift tab. Shift tab. Now this little piece. Oh, now I got the body. Shift tab. Shift tab becomes your best friend. So there I have that little piece now selected by clicking on it, and I'm going to hit delete. I'm going to click on this little piece. Delete. This little piece. Delete. So you'll see these little pieces. There's one here as well. Delete. If I ever delete anything that I don't want to delete, I can always hit Control Z. That's a shortcut for undo. And that'll make that go a little faster for you. There's also this little detailing. I don't really need that, so I'll delete it. The only other thing you're looking for that you might want to get you'll want to get rid of is sometimes when it's rendering the image, it puts in a couple little extra, literally, dots. And there's a way to distinguish these. So here you'll see that this is just a basic cross. That shows you that it's the middle of an image that you're looking at, a piece. But there's also, I don't know if this one, this image even has one. There's, you'll see that little cross with a dot in it. That might be one, it might not, I can't tell. So again, this is when I go to my big zoom and I start looking for these. And I do believe this is one. See how here the cross does not have a dot in it? That's an okay one, but this one does. So, and you can tell by when you select it, the little dot in the middle starts flashing. So that means it's a single dot and you don't want that cut. So you hit delete and it gets rid of it. Whereas if you look at this one, see when I when I select it, it just selects on image. So that's actually an image piece. And if I delete that, you'll see I get rid of the whole background. And then I can control Z to undo it. So it's a little hard to see. I hope I haven't lost anybody yet. But those are the one the other things I want to get rid of because I don't want on the first one I ever did, which was two, I had a million of these to get rid of. And I didn't see them. And the first time I cut it, I had all these little holes in my paper. So here's another one of these that I want to get rid of. So I click the delete. And I actually think that those are all the ones that this image has. That might be one. It is. So there I'm shift tabbing until I get to the image and I until I get to the point and I can see. So I'm going to hit delete. And I th think, let me go to the side here because I didn't check the shoe. Oop, there's one here. And if you only have one of these, you're still going to print out fine. But if you have several of these, like I have, you really start to see them. That may actually just be the center. So I apologize for that. But that's, you can see me all uh, play around a little bit with the image. So now I'm going to zoom back out so I can see the whole thing again. And this is looking like what I want to cut. Now for me, I'm very visual, so I have a very hard time envisioning what this is going to look like if I don't color all the pieces. This is by no means something you have to do. 
you could actually start printing your pieces or cutting your pieces. I'm sorry, I always say printing. You could start cutting your pieces from right here. You're actually ready to go. But I will show you what I do so that I can see it. I first select the background. And I'm shift tabbing in between until I get the background. Now I know I have the background because it's around the whole thing. I come over here to my visualization and I click on color and I want it to be black because that's going to be my silhouette. Once I've made it black, even though it looks kind of gray, that's the black. I hit shift tab and it sends it to the back. Now, I don't know, let's say my baby boy is blonde or my baby. I'm going to select the hair. If you want to see what piece you're selecting, you can kind of move it to take a look. I'll do this sometimes. And then you can control Z to undo it if you need to. This did, however, bring my piece forward again, so I need to shift tab to bring it back. And if I go back now, I'm going to select my hair and I'm going to click on the color and I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it gold. That's that piece of hair. Now I want that piece out of there so I can do the next. So I click shift tab. And again. And now I clicked on my other piece. And I think this is my oh, tab. My last piece. That's the face. Shift tab again. And now we finally have it. So that's going to be yellow as well. Now I'm in the face. This is where there might be a little more complication so that's the hair so I want to shift tab I want my face to be I think the color light orange and you can cut these whatever color you want this is just if you want to get a visual before you cut it I enjoy this I really enjoy this especially if I haven't looked at the image in a couple days it's very easy for me to see what I need to cut and what color also helps me when I'm trying to cut I can just delete everything that isn't a color so I'm going to shift tab to bring that to the back. And now I have the black, the black part of the eye. So I need to make this, this black as well because it's the black of the eye. This is the part that would be different if we were doing the next one. I would actually try to join this to the back to cut out a hole, but that's for another time. So I'm going to make this black and then I'm going to send it back. And this is where I'm saying you're going to have more paper piecing. This is going to be white. And so is this. So now I have completed my image. I did just give a pause there and finish it up because I didn't think anybody wanted to listen to me kind of babble on as I changed every single color of every piece. Again, that is not a required step. You can cut it right from the way it was. But I like to do it because it gives me a great sense for how it's going to turn out and whether or not I'm going to have any problems and saves me some paper. Um, that completes my tutorial. Uh, don't forget to save your image. And I hope you enjoyed it. This is my first one ever, so please give me any feedback you might have. Good, bad, or neutral. And I hope to be doing one of these again soon. Where I, The next one I'm going to show you how to do an image like this, but end up with a hole here instead of just a black background and that kind of stuff. And instead of having to layer the blacks of the eyes, maybe cut them out, and the same with these nose, pe nose pieces, eyelash pieces, that kind of stuff. All right, thank you so much for staying with me. I greatly appreciate it, and 